Hi guys, welcome to another shopping vlog. I am in Calgary, woo woo! <laughs> and of course, you know that I am going to coach. Like, is there any other reason to be here? Anyways, I'm here particularly to see one bag. I want to see the um, summer tote that is currently on sale. It was recently added to the 50% um, off summer sale. So I want to see that and see how I feel about it before I purchase it. Um, and then we'll see what else is on sale. We'll see if they have anything new. I already know that the latest collection, the Observe By Us collection, is not available in my store. Uh, my store doesn't typically get things like that. I think for now in Canada, just the Barrage Street store has that collection. I'm not sure if it's available in Ontario, but I for sure know that Barrage Street in Vancouver does have that collection. So we won't see that in today's video. But I'll show you everything else that we haven't seen before on this channel in the store. Are you guys ready? Let's go. First, a quick detour to Kate Spade because I just have to stop by and see what they have. And here I am trying the Sam Icon small leather tote. I absolutely love this tote. I do have the Sam Icon Hobo in metallic. Love the entire Sam, Sam line. And this tote is one I've had on my radar ever since they brought it out. It reminds me so much of the uh, version by Prada. And I just think it is a beautiful um bag this particular color is pistachio cream i think it is a beautiful shade of green they have um two new colors out for summer pistachio green and watercolor blue they also have the bag in true white and in of course in black so this is the sam icon hobo that's the one i have but in the color watercolor blue i have it in metallic silver they also have this butter yellow type color. I'm not sure if that's the official name, but it's also very, very pretty. This is the smaller size of the Sam Icon um, tote. And then I'm putting it besides the bigger size, which is also small. So you have like a small and a mini, just so you guys can see the comparison. So they have the entire collection. You have the shoulder bags, the hobo, the tote. You have those tiny ones that are really, really slim and don't fit so much, but they look really cool on your shoulder. They are called the mini pochettes. This strap is detachable, so you can use it as a wristlet. You can use it as a pouch in your bigger bags, or you can use it for a night out. These, uh, the I can't remember these names of uh, the name of this style bag, but I know they were really popular last year during New York Fashion Week. Um, I wasn't particularly thrilled about the style it's not my vibe it's beautiful it's great quality it's just not my personal style they have it now in white and this blue multicolor version this wall display has the entire gramercy um, collection and i particularly like this shoulder bag this one is a little bit new it's a few months old now but it's kind of, it's new to me this is the first time i'm actually seeing it in person taking a close look at it doesn't this chain strap remind you so much of the coach beats chain strap except this one has a cool detail and i wonder if you can um, figure out what it is before i show you in closer detail but i really like it i think it's very similar to the gucci hospit uh, shoulder bag that has recently been reissued i like it particularly in that white of course they have this nice powder blue color and the black i wish they had done the regular uh, kate spade logo though and not this newer type different type of logo i know the kate spade logo is new anyway but this one on the gramercy bags are just somewhat different from the rest of the regular logo check out this cute resin bags i know kate spade does resin bags from time to time but this one i don't know there's just something about this one i think it was the blue color not so much the eye i don't like the eye but this one from the what the shell collection is it well it's the shell collection but the bag itself the clutch is what the shell i believe so so beautiful i love how they incorporated the logo on that clutch and then i love how the seashells are not too much they're just perfect and the back of the bag also has this beautiful glitter in it the starfish it was just it was beautiful honestly um the essay is was so helpful so wonderful she was explaining to me how 
it has a crossbody strap that is the prettiest strap you have seen honestly this thing looks like a jewelry it is just so beautiful and so petite and dainty dainty i think is the word i am looking for so she helped me put it on so i could try it on my shoulder and honestly i am amazed at how blown away i was at this clutch by the way kate spade has rebranded just in case you didn't know they partnered with pantone and come out with kate spade green a very very pretty shade of dark green um they've also changed their logo to this really nice pin type of flat black logo they have changed their dust bag so they're no longer pink and the fabric is very different much better quality in my opinion i definitely love the new kids bed they're still doing their novelty whimsical beautiful fun bags which i appreciate that they're staying true to their heritage but i like how they have uh, sort of grown up with their branding um definitely awesome so as you can see this clutch is currently priced at 598 canadian dollars it is definitely on my wish list <laughs> on this wall you have the kt collection in the halo white multi um multi color or color block love that collection particularly in that color block very um uh, gucci very ralph lauren in my opinion I love to look at Kate Spade um, jewelry because if there's one thing Kate Spade does really well, it is their novelty. And that shines through not just in their bags, but in their jewelry pieces as well. So these are very, very pretty. okay so we have finally made it to coach where i met up with this wonderful wonderful lady who i connected with on instagram she watches my youtube videos and we met up at the store and i was so so happy to meet her she was showing me her soft tabby in this floral print that i had never seen in person before and i'm just so grateful for this community here on youtube where i can share my love for handbags here are the Sami bags in the full size and the 21 size. Um, I was skeptical about the smaller size before, but now that I see it in person, um, it's not so bad. This faded blue color is so pretty, guys. So, so pretty. I've tried to not um, touch the lighting or the picture quality or the... Um, I've not changed anything in the picture of what you're seeing on screen like i didn't lighten it up i didn't uh, work on the shadow usually i would retouch uh the videos change the shadows change highlights increase saturation that kind of thing but i've not done that with this video because i want you to be able to see the true color of these handbags so i definitely love that um faded blue it's so pretty in person this is the tabby messenger i think this is the favorite color that i've seen this bags come in i know people liked the browns a lot but i particularly like this one in denim This is a Sylvie sandal in chalk. It's currently on sale. I have the black. I bought it in the black version. And you know what? I almost bought the chalk, but after seeing the chalk now in person, I'm happy with my decision to go with black. Here is the Hobo Crossbody in Sun Orange. This is one of the newest styles at Coach. It is made of cross grain leather, 
um so if you like cross grain leather you probably like this bag it's a nice bag not bad at all priced at 430 canadian dollars Here are some more cross green pieces. This is the green version of that crossbody bag. I like how they've styled it here with the silver chain. The silver chain is 150 Canadian dollars. And then you also have the larger totes. This one is the size 40 and is priced at 730 Canadian dollars. I finally tried on the Relay Tote today. Honestly, the, for the last couple of times since this bag uh, was released that I come to the store, for some reason, I always forget to try it on. I think because it's in the men's section, but I've always liked the bag and I wanted to see how it fit on me, but it looks really, really good. I think it would be an amazing bag for travel or like overnight. I personally won't use it for travel because I want something with a zip and I've decided that Longchamp is my favorite travel tote forever and ever and ever, but this one is not bad. It's very lightweight and stands up well and feels nice under my arm as well. Priced at 670 Canadian, this won't be a bad buy if it ever goes on sale. Okay, let's check out the Soho bags. On this table, they have the signature jacquard bags that are Y2K inspired. I'm not particularly interested in this bag. I mean, I like the style, I like the idea of it, but it is made of materials that I don't particularly like or appreciate. Um, and for $430, I'll pass. But it is, it's it's not a bad style at all. There's definitely a market for it. There's, people that the aesthetic of this bag will appeal to um, but yeah here they are in all their glory i finally got to see the reese tote i've been wanting to see this tote since it came out however the larger size is sold out at my store my essay told me they didn't get that many units in their store so that made me sad that's actually the one i wanted to try but i ended up trying this smaller version instead and it's honestly not bad I'm thinking the bigger one is good for travel and beach um, stays or beach outings. But like, do I really need a big size tote if I'm saying that Longchamp is my forever travel tote? Where would I wear the big size wrist to? What do you guys think? The smaller one that I can use every day, all year round, because yes, I believe that it is. A cotton canvas bag can be used all year round or a uh, bigger one that I can use seasonally in the summer to the beach, uh, to the park or on vacation, but not for the traveling part of the vacation, if that makes sense. Let me know in the comments below. But here is a smaller one priced at 670 Canadian dollars. Another question for you guys. Is this Ori, I think that's how you say it. this Ori bag. Does it look like a Bluetooth speaker or a Tootsie roll? <laughs> Vote. Let me know how many people think it look, looks like a Bluetooth speaker and how many people think it looks like a Tootsie roll. So the heart bags are back. This is the black quilted one. This is actually the one I am wearing today. It's also now available in um, the chalk. They also have this in the purple color. These are the Coach Bears. They are very, very popular. Um, they do have in the smaller size in the purple and the pink. And all of these are just things that I've shown in greater detail in previous videos. So I'm not going to go over them again, but check out this stunning rogue. Oh my goodness. I know I'm no longer team rogue. I'm fully out, <laughs> but you cannot deny that this rogue 25 with the snake skin detail and the tea roses 
is beautiful like immediately i saw it i'm like this is gorgeous it is priced at 1220 canadian dollars this hay multi is also very stunning first time i'm seeing it in person and honestly i need coach to make me um or bring back the ruby in all of these gorgeous colors because i can't i these are too pretty and it's sad but i'm not buying the rogue again <laughs> um i'm going to try on this gorgeous rogue 20 in black uh that is priced at 610 canadian dollars but before that let's just look at a few of the things that are 50 percent off you have all of the lunas in these gorgeous colors you have the mini cashings you have the teddy this bubblegum luna is very pretty um and i'm trying this on so you guys can see it's very different from the pink dress i'm wearing the pink dress is very light but the bubblegum is quite bubblegum and it's very very cute um here is the beautiful tea rose rogue because i just can't Put it down it's just <sighs> here is coach's version of the dad sandals this is called the Peyton and is priced at 230 Canadian. These sneakers are one that I've had on my wish list since they came out earlier this year. 270 Canadian dollars. I want it particularly in that red colorway. I thought they were on sale, but my essay told me it is the male version that's on sale. So that made me really sad because I really, really want those ones so i'll just wait and whenever it is on sale i will get them this bag also reminds me of um, prada it's giving prada for sure uh this is called the carta cariel 28 priced at 430 canadian dollars This is their sale section. So these are the bags, um, what they have left that is on sale. It's not so much from what I had in stock, but at least it's um, it's not bad either. I tried on these mini bags for the first time. I've seen them before and I've um, featured them in my vlogs previously, but this is the first time I was actually trying one in store. Currently on sale for $120. I think it is absolutely cute with my dress. The kids crossbody is also on sale and it's definitely a good bag to pick up um, during a sale. Here is the faded blue and pool colors side by side just in case you were wondering um, how different they are. Sadly my essay told me that the basket tote I wanted to try is sold out at their store um, and in fact sold out on the website. The the only available size is a small one, the mini version, and I really wanted to try the large. I tried on this beautiful C uh, chain bracelet. Cause it caught my eye sadly it wasn't on sale and i really wasn't willing to pay full price for it at 200 canadian dollars
they still have one flora sami left on sale this is the only sami i think that is available included in the sale i also saw these crochet soft tabbies for the first time in person and honestly they look so much better in person than on the websites those stock photos do not do this bag any justice currently on sale for 365 canadian dollars chalk sami 25 full size in one hand and um faded blue sami 21 the smaller size in the other so i'm comparing both sizes so you can see the difference not much on the outside i am between 55 and 56 for reference it does uh show more difference though when you open it up because i think the faded uh, blue version the 21 size will be will hold less items of course and be a tighter fit for my things personally the things i always like to carry so it's cute i like the proportions um but it's definitely not going to fit my essentials this bandit on the other hand this is a bandit crossbody i absolutely fell in love with um just now trying it and i just think it is absolutely beautiful the color the size is perfect for like from day to night for travel that kind of thing and when i opened it and checked the interior it fit my phone i used a samsung s21 and honestly there was room for um a card case a key holder maybe lipstick or a bottle of travel size perfume Priced at 425 Canadian, I'm certainly not buying it now, but this one is going on my wish list. The Phil Tote 40s from the Denim Collection um, are also currently on sale. 50% off. This bag is huge, but it's also soft and light. On sale currently for 335 Canadian dollars. I think I will pick the blue, um, the black, sorry, over at the light blue definitely like it like the vibe i just don't need this bag so let's try the bandit belt bag currently priced at 430 dollars this is my favorite color in dark stone honestly coach needs to do more bags in this dark stone color i really like the vibe of this bag i think it would make a great vacation bag i can picture myself being a bougie tourist using that bag this is the mini pouch in cross green leather um, in the color pool with silver hardware. This one is cute and small. You can turn it into a wristlet and carry it like that. You can use it inside a bigger bag. You can use it as a bag on its own, maybe for nighttime adventures, things like that. I really like it. I think it's very cute and also functional as well. Down at Coach now, so let's pop over real quick to Terry Birch. And of course, I just saw this gorgeous Eleanor uh, bag. This is one of the newer ones, um, part of the Eleanor family. It looks so chic, so elegant, so sophisticated. I love the strap drop, I love the chain strap. Uh, it comes in chalk and black. Honestly, the black is my favorite. It's a bit pricey at about 700 Canadian dollars. This one is for sure on my wish list now. Okay, so there's a lot more that I didn't share in this vlog just because it is in my July vlog. So I went to Aldo, I went to Victoria's Secret. So if you want to see what I saw, what I found, what's new in those stores, especially my barbie all things barbie hunting expedition that's what i'm gonna call it then make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can be notified when that video goes live thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in this one bye